Hey, welcome back to another video. This video is going to be on building a blog with Laravel using the Wink package that is pretty much the go-to package within the Laravel community for building the back end of a blogging system. I wanted to make this video because it, it's something I, that I found really useful when I was trying to build my blog. I've already started up a new project. It's called Blog. I'm already in it. If I just ls this, you can see that it's a Laravel project. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and just install the Wink package, which is this running this command. So Composer require Wink. And as this is installing, I uh, just want to mention that if you do enjoy the videos that I create, please do consider subscribing. It's a huge help. I've also included a link in the description to cloudways.com if you're looking for somewhere to easily deploy your Laravel or even WordPress applications. I've been a customer for years and they make the process really easy. I have a, just a simple DigitalOcean droplet that they manage. And so if you're looking for that, consider using the link below. That's a big help as well. I'm also going to install the Laravel debug bar. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to see what queries are being made in the back end as we're fetching pages. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm only going to create some basic pages to, just to get the data out of the database. Something to note about Wink is that it's actually faceless, which means that it is completely up to us on actually figuring out how to access data and get it into the front end. The only thing that's provided with this package is the back end UI and the Wink post, Wink page, Wink author, Wink tag, anything we need basically to create content, publish it, upload images, things like that. So it looks like both packages are now installed. So we can actually run the PHP artisan Wink install command. This is going to publish assets and the configuration file for Wink. And we can copy this and link the storage. That's something that is for all of Laravel. It's not Wink specific. It's used to actually allow image uploads to work. Now that that works, we can go ahead and open up the project in VS Code. And once we have that, we can see that it's a fresh project. First thing we need to do is open up the environment file. And I'm going to update my DB database value to wink underscore blog, which is actually a database I already have created. You can see here that this database does actually exist. It's just wink underscore blog. If we refresh, it's actually empty. So there's nothing in it. The next thing we want to do is update the wink configuration and update the wink DB connection within that configuration file. Right now it's set to wink and I'm not actually sure why this is done this way out of the box with wink. This connection doesn't actually exist and you'd have to create it yourself. What I like to do is just update it to use MySQL. And this way when we run the migrations, the wink migrations will actually run on the MySQL connection, which is exactly what we're using within our, our environment file anyways. Now that that's set up, we can go ahead and run PHP artisan migrate. If we go back to our SQL Pro, refresh, you can see that only the tables that come with Laravel have been migrated. So why is this happening? Well, PHP artisan wink migrate is the command that wink provides for actually migrating the wink files. I'm not sure why this is not something that's published into the, the Laravel project with the publish command, but it is separate and it is nice for now because we get migrations and we also have an author generated that we can log in with. At this point, we can actually go into our browser, go to blog.test. This is what it looks like the main page. If we go to slash wink, which is the default route for wink, we see a login page. If we copy this and use admin at mail.com and use this password, it'll let us log in. And now we're in the wink dashboard. This bar down here is the Laravel debug bar. So this would not come up on your screen unless you installed it. What we want to do now is basically just create a couple posts. What I really like about Wink is that it provides a rich text editor and a markdown editor. Uh, I write my blog posts in Notion now, so having a markdown editor is very, very handy. Let's call this one first post. This is the first post. You can add a tag called Laravel. Done. If we refresh, we can go back into general settings and see that the, the tag was added. We're actually going to go, go ahead and add a second one. Done. And now if we refresh, look at the general settings, we see that we have a slug of first post, we have an author, we have two tags and an excerpt. If we go back to the main page here, we can see that the first post is published. Let's create one more. Let's publish this and let's take a look into our database. So we migrated these tables. We have wink authors, pages, posts, tags, and the post tags pivot table. If we look within posts and look at the content, there are two posts that we just created. What we're going to do now is create a couple routes, a controller, and actually render these posts out to a basic front end. It's not going to be pretty, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I just wanted to show how to actually get the data out into the front end. So, First thing I'm going to do is just clear this and run PHP artisan make controller post controller. 
This is going to generate a controller. That's going to be for posts, obviously. If we open that up, you can see it's empty. We're going to create two methods in here. One's going to be called index. The other one is going to be called show. For now, we're not going to implement show. We're going to do index first. So I'm just going to return out here. I'm not sure if that's even necessary, but we'll, we'll go with that. Now we have to create routes. So routes are pretty easy. We're going to make two get routes. The first one is just going to be to the root. And this is going to be going to the post controller class and to the index method. We're going to give this a name. We're going to call it posts.index. The next root is going to be also a get, obviously. This one is also going to be to the root, but we're going to accept a parameter called post, which is going to which is going to route model bind based on the slug column within the post table. And the name is going to be posts.show. This will be important later. For now, all we need to know is that we have two routes, one going to the root that goes to the index method that's going to show all posts, and another one that's going to find a specific post by its slug, go to the show method, and render that with the name post.show. Let's implement the first method. So we don't have to accept any parameters in this method because we're just showing all posts. The way I'm going to do this is by querying wink post like this. I'm going to order by created at in descending order. That's typically how articles are ordered. And I'm going to just get all of them. I'm going to return a view called blog.index. And I'm going to pass it this data. So with posts, which is the key, and posts. And this should work, right? I mean, it's it's set up. So if we reload this route, it should work, but it doesn't because that actual view doesn't exist yet. And so this is easy. We go to resources, views, create a directory called blog, create a new file called index.blade.php. And what we can do is just dd this posts and see if we're actually getting data, which we are. So we're seeing two posts. Awesome. What I'm going to do is just create an unordered list like I said before, this is going to be, it's not going to be pretty, but it's going to really drive home the point of how to show this data on the front end. I'm going to loop over posts as post. And in here, I'm going to create a list item. It's going to be multi-lined. And I'm going to do post arrow. Copy this for three. Here, I'm going to render out the post title. Here I'm going to render out the created at date, which would be like when the record was created, and convert it to diff for humans, which will make a human readable time. And here I'm going to get the author name. If we look and I enlarge the font, you can see that we get the title, how long ago it was published, and the author name. You might be wondering though, this author name was not actually included in the table. If we look into the post table, author is not anywhere in here other than the author ID. So what's happening is, behind the scenes, wink post is nothing but a class that extends abstract wink model. It has an author relationship on it right here, but abstract wink model actually extends model itself. So wink post is just a model. And so calling author here will get the author and then get the name. So that's why it works. If we reload the page again, bring up the debug bar and look at our queries, it looks like even though we're getting the same author for both of these posts, that query is being run twice. This is a big problem in all web development. Laravel fixes this by allowing us to do eager loading. The way this is fixed is by just including with and then the relationship within with, which is author. And this will load the author record with each wink post. So if we refresh the page now, we can see that there's only one query going to wink authors and it's looking for the same ID because these posts belong to the same author. Great. So the index works. It's a very basic version, but it works. What if we wanted to create a, a link around the title and have a link that we could click going to that actual article? Well, this is also very easy. First, we're going to edit our index. We're going to create a link around this. And we're going to use that fancy named route we created. So within blade script tags, route posts.show. And of course, post.show accepts a slug as a parameter. So slug, I'm going to close this link tag. We can see that a link was created. When we click this, we should be going to a second dash post route like this. Of course, nothing comes up because in our show method, it's just returning out, which is fine. 
we're going to actually implement this now. So we're going to accept a wink post post and we're going to return a view called blog.show with post post. And of course this breaks because we don't have that view yet, but that's an easy fix. Like we saw before, we just create a new file called show.blade.php. And within here, I'm gonna make an unordered list, add a whole bunch of list items within here at this. We're gonna show the post title, post content, post created at, post author and post tags. So first thing is post title, then post content. Something to note about content is this actually renders as HTML, which is very helpful. So even if you're writing in Markdown, it's already gonna parse that and output it as HTML for you, which is very, very nice. Post author name. And we also want the tags. So Laravel post tags. And for now we can just output first and then name. So this will output the first tag and the name. And then we could also show the created at. Oh, there's a create publish date. Let's use the publish date. Diff for humans. If we reload this, we're trying to get name of non-object because in this case, second post doesn't actually have any tags. If we go to the first post, we can see that it actually does work. And it's showing the first tag with the name of the first tag that this post has. If we wanted to show all tags, we could use something called implode using a comma delimiter. And by inputting post tags, which gets all tags, and then plucking just the name and then converting it to an array we can get all tags with a comma delimiter which is great you can see that we have the published date the author name the content and the title but the second post page still doesn't work because it doesn't actually have tags so if we reload you can see that this comes up even when there's no tags now, the easy way to fix this is to actually wrap this in an if so if and if if post tags count is greater than zero. We're gonna show this. This bullet point should now disappear and it does. And now we have a functional, very simple blog front end. If we click second post, second post comes up with the content. If we click first post, first post comes up with the content. And this is how you build a very, very simple blog in Laravel. If you enjoyed this tutorial and you have any other ideas for future videos, even centered around Wink itself, I would love to see them in the comment section below. Once again, if you're looking to support the channel, the easiest way is to just subscribe. There's also a link to cloudways.com like I mentioned below. If you're looking for a high performance host that's very easy to use uh, and very easy to deploy to, I would highly recommend Cloudways. I am a customer for years now and using the link below is a great way to support the channel. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.